Helldivers 2 is the first live service game to feel like a live service. But honestly, they're doing way too much in the best way possible. By presidential decree, the president of Super Earth has officially recognized this day as Malevolent Creek Memorial Day. This week, in remembrance, all Helldivers will be issued a special commemorative cape. So they may carry the memory of their fallen companions into battle. Fallen Heroes Vengeance. Our heroic fallen live on this cape. Guide against bearers aim to the heart of those who killed them. Dang, son. This cape symbolizes all the lives the Creek Rats lost us over the course of maybe a month and some change. The time spent on Malevolon Creek. Basically doing next to nothing. Getting close to maybe 50% liberation and then losing it all the next day overnight. Until finally a major order comes out. And we basically destroy it beyond space and time. Initially we take over Malevolon Creek. All is well. Super quick. Great. And we're like, oh we have it. Look at us. We finally did it. We took it over. We're chilling. And the very next day it turns into a defense campaign because the bots have taken over Malevolon Creek from us again. But we freaking destroy that too. One of the few times we mow through a defense campaign. I think we actually got a lot. We got pretty good at those against the bots. They also nerfed the mission a little bit. But still, we got better. Because this was before they nerfed it. And lo and behold, the moment that major order ends, at 5 in the morning, my time at least, there's a Discord announcement saying, y'all, we want to commemorate all you hardworking hell divers with this here cape. And it just reminds me of AAA games and how they would never do this. Because if they had this idea, someone in the AAA company said, uh, boss, what if we gave the players cosmetics for free? They'd say, great idea. Go ahead and draw it up real quick. Let me see what it looks like. Put some passion into it. Person would make it. Someone would make it in the company. And then they'd say, fantastic. Let's go ahead and not do the free route though. And instead, maybe make it 10 bucks and not tell players that it was for commemorative, memorable stuff at all. That'd be the AAA route, but not Helldivers. No sorry do Bob. Instead, this comes out. This was made, obviously, beforehand. I, like, Surely it was not made the day of, and if it was, kudos anyway. But it just shows a level of caring. It's a small gesture that goes a long way. And speaking of the live service as well, what other games are pumping out content like Helldivers 2? None. Physically, no game I've ever played or... Possibly no game ever made. We're getting new weapons, both primary, support, almost freaking weekly it feels like, bi-weekly. New things to fight as well. Mission balance, weapon balance, which sometimes isn't the most ideal, but still, they're trying. There's no game doing that, man. They're doing things that I've been asking for for years. So, like, when I play games, like, hey man, what if, you, what if I'll just change the numbers a little bit? Jesus. What if you change numbers a little bit to figure out what works and what doesn't? Like, please, just change something. No game does that. They're so afraid to make even the most minute of change at any given moment, and it drives me nuts. They, they'll take years to implement a quality of life change, a number change, to see if it even might work. Helldivers 2? No. Now, I will say I'm not the biggest fan of potentially the statistical-based balancing and whatnot. I don't think I like that too much, but even still, I'll take it because the content is still fun for the most part. For the vast majority of what they release, I'm having a great time playing it. And at first, it may seem frustrating with certain things. The Shriekers, it's like, oh, they one-shot me. This is ridiculous. I think that we as players have got to take a less serious look at this game. I say that, but I'm still going to be talking about balance in, in, in my videos and whatnot and talking about maybe some of these changes weren't exactly ideal that is still a valid thing to do it's important to do i think but it's also just gonna be a major factor to respect just how much effort they put in this game how much caring they put into virtually every aspect of it and doing giving feedback in the most respectful way possible so maybe i shouldn't do the budget kermit voice anymore but i think i'll keep that it's not really a disrespectful thing but you know it's just kind of fun man We'll see. I don't know, dude. I have not played a game like this in years where it just feels this amazing. This is kind of a yap sesh, getting that eight minute mark. Starting now, I guess. But the last game I played that was fun and had some sense of community, it was nowhere near this, was Dauntless. And honestly, I remember so many games that tried to build a community through different metrics, like they legit would have events. They'd, they'd announce the event. 
they'd have a orchestrated pre-made event trying to get the players to come together and handle something and dauntless it was the freaking the, like the faction fight nonsense it was not very fun or engaging and the rewards were really freaking bad and they also cost money for the most part there was some that were free but they mostly cost money the tune of like 60 bucks to get all of one faction i think roughly but i had a creator code so whatever but this game they didn't have to make the events per se like we have these like the events itself are gameplay it's what the game's built on the D, &D style major order initializing a full campaign in hopes that the players will embark on that as a unit to take it over easier that's what the game's actually built on this game is built on community and that's what probably helps it so much is it has that foundation the expectation that other games don't really have at all and they recognize that and then they reward us for playing the game and i'm telling you man it's insane that we like i don't believe that Melvon creek was going to be it wasn't just chosen in the scripture as the mission or the planet that people would really unite with that they would really what's the word resonate with i don't think so i think it just happened by chance and the devs recognized that they were noticing it watching observing and they said this is pretty sick there's a common saying these devs don't play the game used for basically every gaming genre you could possibly think of in reference to things that people don't like but such as changes that just didn't make any sense they go how could you do this the devs don't play the game i don't think that that applies to help lovers too there's a common there's there's a common saying these devs do not play the game used for practically every gaming genre ever made at this point to describe changes made to it that don't make any sense to the players they just go well the devs made this change it's terrible in reality the devs don't have that kind of power most of the time they do what they're told it's called the job but i digress even still in helldivers 2 i i think they play the game maybe not at the highest level not all of them i would assume but even still they play the game they have a pretty good understanding of the game in the important regards in most regards actually and even if they didn't which i think they do they care about the game they care about the players and it shows it's just refreshing man i want to i want to make this video because i know a bunch of folks they can have some issues with like new patches and whatnot weapons getting nerfed this or that but you really have to recognize just how good the game is and maybe some of y'all should do different stuff use different weapons if i was a railgun one trick i'd be heated right now luckily i'm not so my suggestion is play at least two weapons two primaries two support weapons you want to have variety because I, I, i'm seeing a lot of comments like that and the other comments saying that the game's crashing and that's that's unfortunate i, I can't say anything about that man it sucks I, I can't tell you how to feel that's unfortunate but i do want to say that helldivers 2 the best game i've ever played full stop and normally i'd say one of the best or it's pretty good no it's the best easily Anywho, that's enough yapping. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Peace.